All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Abushai, by Hashem Kakwadash. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Abushai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Abushai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai being the name of His beloved Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names in Allah Shema Kudash, the ancient Hebrew. The only names you call upon for salvation if you're an Israelite. The Israelites mean so called Negroes, you Hispanics, and Native Americans today, as well as the Israelite foreigners that have taken on the appearance of the heathen. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and blessings and citations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit of Papi Yahweh by Shema Shai. And the title of today's lesson will be Fishing Takes Patience. All right, Fishing Takes Patience. Okay, and uh, if you've ever been fishing before, you know you could be out there all day and catch nothing. Okay? Or, or be out there all day and uh, catch one fish, you know? And that would be a success. All right, so we must be uh, mindful of this, you know, while teaching a word of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. It's, it's the thing of patience, man. Okay, like we know of our apostles and elders, they went, uh, I believe, 10 years, you know, without uh, gathering any brothers. But the Lord had them get on YouTube and boom, you know, this word, word spread like never before. Okay, and now we see the camps throughout the whole globe, great millstone camps, okay, which are the, the Lord's elect, Lord's will. All right, so fishing takes patience. So I want to start here with Jeremiah 16 and 16. It says, Behold, I will send for many fishers. All right, and the fishers are the prophets, all right, the ones that have got, got there, set up camp, teaching the word, all right, uploading our videos on the YouTube, spreading the gospel of Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay, these are the fishers. Behold, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Okay, and, uh, you know, we're still in the, the fishing phase. All right, but a time is coming where the Lord is going to uh, make us hunters, man. Okay, but the focus is fishing. So this is Matthew 4 and 17. It says, from that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? Yahweh Shai was preaching. Therefore, we got to preach, man. Yahweh Shai said, uh, 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 go to the highways and byways and bid them to the marriage. Uh, preach the word. Uh, be instant in season and out of season. Okay? And Yahweh Shai, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers, all right? And that's not by coincidence, that they were fishers, man. Everything is spiritual, just like you have our great forefather, you know, uh, King David. <laughs> you know, he uh, was a shepherd, you know, watching the sheep, you know, and, 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 you know, that was a thing of our forefathers. But that's all spiritual. All right, so it says, For they were fishers, and he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. All right, and they straightway left their nets and followed him. Okay, so that's what the Lord has made us Fishers of men Okay, and you can feel like While you're out there and no one's listening uh, You know, you might have one brother out there Or, or no brothers out there uh, Listening to the word But it's alright Because all we gotta do is teach the word Y'all about Shema Shah is gonna do the rest Alright, the, the Lord's gonna do the ceiling Alright, because that's one of the things we're waiting for this, the, the, uh, the ceiling of the Lord's elect so I wanted to go here in this account because it's uh, highly spiritual, you know, concerning uh, the believers coming in. This is uh, Luke 5 and 1. It says, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of, of Yahweh, he stood by the lake of the uh, Genesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were going out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered, entered into one of the ships which was Simon's and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship, you know, showing you that the Lord had, uh, you know, a magnifying voice. The Lord had a strong voice. It says, now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. 
And Simon answering said unto him, I mean for a draught. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing, right? And you can feel like that in the spirit, you know, like the, like I had mentioned, the apostles and elders, you know, they went, I believe it was a 10 year gap where they didn't have no, no brothers coming in. Okay, so they, you know, it's like toiling all night and, 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 and have have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had, when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break, you see? And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they, ca they came and filled both the ships so that they begin to sink, sink, you know? So that was a powerful, powerful uh, 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 what do I, what's the word? Uh, uh, I forget the word, but that was a powerful uh, uh, moment, you know? Because uh, that was ind indic indicative, you know, of the, uh, of their teaching, you know, of their uh, the gospel spreading and the uh, uh, the believers uh, coming in. All right, it says uh, when Pe when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Yahweh's knees, saying, "Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord." Right, because Peter believed, man. You know, he's seen this powerful, you could say, miracle moment, and he believed. Okay. For he was astonished in all that were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Yahweh I said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. See, that's what that was in, in, indicative of, if I'm using the right word. That they shall catch men. All right, which, who, who will they catch? The believers, man. Okay? Which are the elect Okay It says And when they had brought their ships to land They forsook all And followed him Okay And that's the uh, You know that's that's something that we could attest to You know that's something that we have experienced as well You know forsaking all And following after Yahweh Bashim Shai man Okay because the Lord uh, Requires you to forsake all The Lord requires you to put him first Okay, but, you know, going back to the uh, point of me reading this, that was indicative of the Lord drawing in the believers. But it takes patience. Okay? We don't know how much longer we got to teach the word. But, you know, look, look at, look at the, uh, look how, how much the gospel has been spreading over the years, man. When I came into the truth a short while ago, all right, it wasn't like this, man. It wasn't how it is now. You got... Uh, brothers teaching in, in all over the globe, man. Central, South America, Europe. Okay. Uh, uh, everywhere, man. All throughout the states. Okay. It wasn't like this when I was when I uh, came in the truth. And we, you know, in the short time I've been in, I've seen it, man, spread like wildfire, man. So, hey, the elect, the elect is either sealed or soon to be sealed, man, because this word is out. All right, well, how was I said uh, when this word shall, so, so, let me grab it. Matthew 24 and uh, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, right? And it's, it is being preached in all the world. You know, of course, you got brothers camps. Uh, 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 you have brothers throughout the globe teaching the word on the highways and byways. But guess what? We all put our, uh, we all put our lessons our teachings on the web okay and, and that's being seen everywhere man and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come so we know that the the end is at the door man because the gospel is already out you know everyone is familiar with uh the hebrew israelites and what we teach okay Psalms 19 and 1 says The heavens declare the glory of the Most High And the firmament show of his handiwork Day unto day utter his speech And night unto night show of knowledge 
There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their voice being who? The prophets. All right. Everyone is hearing this word. Their line is going going out throughout the whole earth, and their words to the end of the world. And them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. Okay, so this word has gone throughout the whole globe, man. So yeah, how about Shemal Shai is drawing in his elect? Scripture say that we will be gathered by the word of your Yahweh Shemal Shai. All right, I'm gonna end it here. All right, fishing takes patience, man. This is Acts 2 and 41. It says, Then they then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Okay, so on one day, uh, 3,000 uh, uh, were woken up and believed. Faith comes by hearing. Okay, so it's nothing for the Lord to, you know, uh, 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 wake up. Up the brothers, man. You know, it's nothing, man. You can wake up five thousand in a day. You can wake up a hundred thousand in a day, a ten thousand in a day. It says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together, and had all things common. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continuing daily with one accord, uh, one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Praising the Heavenly Father and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved you see so the lord is adding to the church daily man we just got to continue to preach this word you know do our part put up our shows you know hit the highways and byways consistently until the lord said that says that's enough man and we know once once that famine of the word comes hey, the elect is uh sealed man okay revelation the seventh chapter so lord's was edifying fishing takes patience man Fishing takes patience, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Shema Kakodash. Until next time, Shalom.